What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back for another video. Deformation is up to 10 times. If you guys saw the title or thumbnail of the video, you would know that we are riding on my favorite Supercross track. Well, you would know this is my favorite Supercross track, but you would know that we're riding on this Supercross track um, with 10 times deformation for 35 laps. And uh, I intend to make it count <laughs> make the 35 count uh for a video i rode literally i think 57 laps on this last night while watching a show so uh we're kind of where we're at right now with everything and i was like well this is my favorite super cross track in the game and i can't even get one rhythm down <laughs> um no this is probably my favorite super cross track in the game if i'm being honest and I think that it's very fun. I personally think that uh, there's a bunch of different rhythms, a bunch of different ways you can hit stuff. There's a bunch of different lines, whether you know it or not. So this track is a little bit more interesting than the average track. And not only that, some of the lines you can kind of just click into in your, your dial. But other tracks, you kind of have to uh, <clears throat> work your way through the track but this one you can kind of just you know soothe your way through the track so uh my strategy for this video is kind of to uh use the same line because 10 times isn't as gnarly as like 20 or 15 times but over 35 laps it's gonna be horrible but we're gonna see how this new deformation system uh works you know with all the um i don't know all the the ruts so if if we can finally you know see if 10 times is actually rideable which i don't think it will be but if the the ruts are rideable game doesn't crash then it should be called as a success but i mean i'm just gonna try to log 35 laps i'll i'll, I'll go I'll check marks i guess checkpoints uh with you guys and you guys just watch the first full lap go up working on my second right now We've got 35 left, uh, 35 more to do, or 34 more to do. So, uh, I'll update you guys maybe at like 10 laps or something. I don't know. And as you guys can see in the top left corner, <clears throat> it is lap numero 11 we're on right now. Already having some struggles. You guys can see the track has, uh, developed quite a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it's so far, it's been pretty tragic 57 is my best lap time it's five seconds slower than my my normal best so you guys can really see the toll that is getting put on this uh this track by the deformation settings and uh right now i'm just trying to use up some some free real estate right now as a i mean i'm trying to save the left side of this section at least for for later because if we're doing this is the worst part of the track in my opinion just because it was so one line. So I kind of have to like kind of tippy toe on through there. And then I'm losing traction on my way out. For God knows why. But um, yeah, we're just going to keep on going. Uh, right now, it's been, I mean, it's been okay. We haven't seen any like game crashes or anything. And I'm still able to make that triple in. So it's not too, too bad as of right now. But I can definitely see it getting worse. Um... And I haven't even jumped over that yet, so um, you guys are getting quite the, the variations of lines right now. Some of these are just not my go-to lines on this track, so it is a little bit interesting, and that is why I like to jump through the whoop sometimes, uh, if you're turning into that one right there, but it uh, doesn't really matter too, too much, but... I remember this was like the first supercross track of beta 17 and i was so hyped for it and then i got on it i thought it was horrible and uh now i think it's probably my favorite supercross track or track in the game in general we gotta get over this right here this corner i plan to have it pretty one-lined but uh that just went to just went out the window we still make that triple in though the, the lip's starting to feed down i might have to cut the corner or cut down in the corner, I guess. Not cut the corner completely, but... Yeah, I mean, so far, it's just been a process. Um, trying to get some... 
some good lines down early. That way I'm kind of saving them for, for saving the more slow lines for later, but just to enjoy the, the first little bit of it and kind of get uh, tortured the last parts of like the last five laps, I'm guessing, are going to be the hardest. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll have to see as I'm already down. That is very sketchy to go down in a place like this. Um, just because it's got so many ruts, it could easily crash your game. And uh, you're going to see I'm, I'm kind of struggling a little bit right now, but I think we'll figure it out. I'll update you guys probably at like 20 laps now. Maybe earlier, maybe later, I don't know. And on to lap number 20. I already went down. I crashed on the starting line. And uh, that didn't really work out or fare well for me. So, oh my god. I feel like I'm getting way less traction. I feel like I don't even have like the tires on. That's how bad it is. I don't know why it's like that. But it just is like that for some reason. So, I don't know. It just it feels like I have no traction anywhere. And I won't get my normal line. So, I'll have to take that one I don't know why I tried to stretch that out but uh, back on to the track now um, as you guys can see I don't know how much worse it looks from when you guys last saw it but I'm sure that there are plenty more lines uh, in the track two times the amount actually well not quite but yeah that is getting treacherous right there and then I'm actually taking like that right there and then rolling this and then cutting inside to where there's not too many lines and see if we can still make it we're not going to yeah that is just being rough right now but we still got 15 more laps to go and I don't expect it to get much uh, easier so uh, we are lucky to make the triple in right there I was able to get it like three laps in a row but I had to to go double double after that because I'd always case the triple but uh, yeah, it's very rough right now, and I'm saving a few lines like this jump over right there, but I should probably start using that. And then my normal line is just going like this, and I haven't really changed up much, except I'm going to do that right there, and then just double through these and try to triple out. Didn't quite hit it, but uh, pin off of that berm, get a good drive for this one right here. And uh, crash once again. So yeah, I don't know what's up with the traction. I think it's my tire getting caught in uh, multiple just different ruts, but no way to really be sure on that as a go twisty turny and go up right there for that double back over the finish line now. Just take this corner like that, and I'm gonna try to just come underneath right here. Go double, double double single back into the corner then go through the whoops quite nicely over I'm not gonna be able to jump the triple right there we'll go outside and then go triple over over and then triple if I can get sketchy but we'll, we'll jump through them again try to uh, see bounce the triple in the middle there since I assume we're not going to even be able to triple into this section at all. But uh, this line, I would like to say it's barely used, but like three or four times is pretty barely used. You hear that sound right there? That is that is the sound of a heart attack. That is the sound of a game crash right there. So uh, you got to be careful of those right there, and I'll update you guys soon. And on lap number 30, uh, we are... Uh, Dealing with a very annoying track. I'm crashing close to probably about two or three times every lap, or just going off the track two to three times every lap if I can get that. There we go. Go over for this triple. No. Ah, I try. These big lines and everything, like, they're gonna work. And I physically can't go through the whoops. I don't care how good of a, a corner you can get, I don't care how good you can get that corner. It, you, you can't go through the whoops. You can't last till the end. Uh, that's what she said. But, uh, I, I don't really know what else to uh, cover here. This corner has been the arch nemesis of this whole entire thing. Uh, probably the most... Actually, you want to know the most, like, 
crashed section slash corner is, it's probably got to be... I don't know. I'll think about it if we get there. Or if I ever think of it, then I might tell you guys. It's probably this corner. I've gone over it a few times. And then, um... What else? And this one's not bad. I just haven't been able to get this section pretty good. I've gone over that berm a couple of times. I'll have to go do this line right here. You know what? The whoops. Yeah, the whoops are probably the most fallen part of this track. Like, I get a good run through the corner. I'm going through the whoops. But you just can't... Fi I don't even know why. But you just can't finish them. Ever. Can't let you have anything nice here, so... Uh, we're gonna have to roll. Double. Jump. Here. And... Hopefully not crash your game. And then turn back in. I'm actually gonna go up here. Because that just seems to be the safest option at this point. But I mean, I'm barely getting any grip in these corners. I can't believe I'm still making some of these jumps. I'm gonna try to triple on in here, but I'm gonna have to cut down the corner. And I can't. The the ruts just pull me, so. That's pretty much just out of business right there, that, that triple in. Uh, it's been rough, it's been rough. I've been recording for 35 minutes, and we are on lap number 32. Oh my god. Yeah, it's getting bad, I'll, I'll say that. It's starting to get bad, but, I mean, it's been bad for a little bit, but, I mean, some of these sections have been doable the whole time. Like, that jump right there, I'm starting to lose that triple out. I might have to go start doing a double single right there, and I will continue to try and jump through the whoops or, or do something through there. I've got to figure out an alternative and then I could probably start using the left side of this section and then right here could probably just roll in. Jump off to the side. Did not mean to do that by the way. I was avoiding the track. Still try to jump. Can't do that either. So very rough uh 35 laps right here, I guess moving on to the 33rd up over that one take this corner. This corner is probably the easiest and nicest. I don't know what about it, but it just seems a little bit more hard packed. Oh, I could have tripled in, but we'll just continue to double and I'm just going to go underneath all these ruts kind of get under them. I will go on off here if I can without my back wheel sliding out. And then go with this triple in over go double here and then go one or go two in I guess and still crashing the whoops so I don't I don't know what's going on with these whoops I understand I cased the jump in but normally it's something that you can easily recover from so I said I could use the the left side of this now oh my god it's so clean oh. Yeah, I don't like the way that this is turning out. Tippy towing around pretty much my strength right now. We go outside, we go over. God, it's such a relief to be in the air. And working on the 34th lap, almost on to the last lap. Go up. Oh no. And then into this corner, our front almost tucks, and then third gear up for these. Take a less ridden line on that one right there. I'm gonna cut down underneath right here, and that's not even doable. So yeah, I don't know why, but with the deformation, it just feels like you have no traction. So I don't know, like, it could be a thing like where I don't have the tires on or something. Uh, I'm running the bike a little bit lighter than it normally is. I normally run 1.4 gallons of gas but right now I'm on a 1.3 so that might have something to do with it I don't know the back wheel could just be stuck in another rut than the front when it's uh, accelerating I don't even like know we'll try to take that rut right there and then we'll work on the last lap where we will not even start good so <laughs> case that right there but we're gonna try to try to blitz and do whatever we can to make this lap seem faster than all the others. We can get that triple in and go double double out and then into here. Now I'll go on off. 
trying to go pretty fast here. Go up over that one. Won't be able to triple in. There's just no way. And I'm barely saving some of this stuff right here. I'm going to jump into like the middle of this corner. And then accidentally jump off the track. Re-enter as soon as we can. And then use the left side of this rhythm. So nice and beautiful and clean. And then back into Hell's Corner. And then jumping into here. You're just turning right here. Camera actually starting to bobble through there. Be light on the acceleration. And there we go. We've gone 35 laps on 10 times the normal deformation setting. And um, as you guys can see, it is not a fun 35 laps. So uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, and I'm scratching my eye, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to uh, leave a like down below. helps out quite a bit. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe because this video was... Uh, I mean, quite the effort. 40 minutes of recording isn't that bad, but I mean, still, as far as this channel goes, hopefully the video isn't a bit longer than I, I hope to be, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. It means a lot, and um, see you guys later.